Hello and welcome back to another installment of our series dedicated to you, our guest teachers, Strategies for Success. I'm Wilson Cuellar and I'm Shireen Berusbard. Well, Shireen, the time is now for our next chat. So question for you. Yes. As a guest teacher, have you ever felt as if you were just supervising instruction? When I was a new teacher, I wanted to make an impact in the classroom, and at times I did feel myself feeling like I was just supervising children. That is why I'm excited to share the big four with our guest teachers. The big four yep. are the focused areas our district has developed aimed at improving student learning. Facilitating instruction with the Big Four in mind can truly make our impact that much more significant, making you an even more effective guest teacher. Well, I'm intrigued and excited yeah. about this, Shadeen. And here at Riverside Unified, we know that not only are our guest teachers capable of ensuring this type of environment is maintained in our classrooms, but that they will be able to teach and facilitate a more effective and engaging learning experience for our scholars. Mm -hmm. You are correct, Shadeen. We are not here just to supervise our students. In addition, the role of the guest teacher is to continue instruction on behalf of the classroom teacher. Isn't that right, Shadeen? Oh, of course, Wilson. I couldn't agree with you more. It is important for any guest teacher to remember the value of how critical it is to keep our students engaged and on task, and how to redirect them when that may not always be the case. As a substitute teacher, you should remember that you are an extension of the classroom teacher. So Shadeen, can you tell us a little bit more about this big four that oh, you're talking about? So the big four are categorized as grade level standards, higher level thinking, independence, and on the spot intervention. Our first of the four is grade level standards alignment, wherein lessons and learning tasks are aligned with grade level standards. Our previous viewers may remember that objectives tie in with this seamlessly. Oh, I remember objectives are the expectations. Isn't that correct? Very good, Wilson! Each lesson will have its own objective, which is aligned with the grade level standards. The grade level standards, in turn, are the expectations for our students learning and growing. If a class is struggling to meet those standards, what can our guest teachers do to help and offer support? Great question, Wilson. On-the-spot intervention is an effective method to give students real-time feedback. Students are given time to offer an answer, and if they are incorrect, they receive support right then and there in order to try again. And the students and the guest teachers can work together to work out solutions and discuss why some may work better than others. And this way, they learn that it is about progress and not necessarily perfection. I love that, Wilson. On-the-spot intervention is such a powerful support that works with any grade level, any subject matter. Collaborating with the students ensures engagement and critical thinking, which leads us to our next expectation, higher level thinking. Hmm, higher level thinking is about creating an academic language bank for our scholars. In order to build their depth of knowledge, Shireen, how are you able to implement this strategy in the classroom? Depth of Knowledge, or DOK, is one of my favorite resources as an educator. Structured as sentence stems and categorized by level, DOK is an indispensable tool that stimulates student engagement and encourages discussion and discourse. Okay. The students are able to express their thoughts and support their opinions. As students work through the levels, their answers reflect extended and strategic thinking. And I gotta tell you, Wilson, it is amazing to see what big thoughts little minds come up with. That's incredible, Shadeen. So how is depth of knowledge categorized? What are the levels and how can guest teachers incorporate them into their lessons? Depth of knowledge is divided into four levels. They are recall and reproduction, skills and concepts, short-term strategic thinking, and extended thinking. Level one, recall and reproduction, can be used anytime and is often a great way to check in with the student's understanding before moving on with the lesson. This is great stuff, Shadeen. Can you give us some examples of DOK1 questions? Oh, yeah. Recall questions may start out simple, like who was or what is the formula for? These questions will often offer answers that can be reproduced or supported by the text. As students become more engaged with their topic, teachers can move through the DOK question levels in order to challenge the students to think more creatively. Instead of merely giving an answer from the text, students are able to offer explanations and details to support their thinking. A DOK level two question, for instance, may ask the students to make contrast and comparisons between two topics. Another feature of level two is asking students to summarize the important information in their own words. Well, the more students work and analyze their assignments, the more they will feel comfortable and willing to challenge themselves. To assist our students in navigating higher level thinking skills, 
guest teachers are encouraged to ask our students higher level thinking questions from the lesson plans they are teaching from. Guest teachers, let's go for it. Let's follow our lesson plans and incorporate higher level questions into instruction. We absolutely believe in your capacity to challenge our students to higher level responses. Just click on that link or scan the code for more DOK question ideas. What do you think, Shadeen? Well, I think it's time to talk about the last of our big four. The goal for our scholars is to become familiar with the tools and strategies available to them in order to encourage students to work more independently. As a guest teacher, we want to strive to make sure that scholars are doing the work on their own, not merely copying the teacher or the classwork that has been already modeled. If they are engaging with the work independently, they will find those opportunities to think critically and ask questions. So it is important that students remember that they can always ask for support. Teachers will want to remember to check in with students as they work independently and continue to offer on-the-spot intervention. Without a doubt, it is crucial that guest teachers continue to engage with the students, especially as they begin to work independently, in order to make sure that the correct strategies are being implemented and comprehension is being cultivated. Well, guest teachers will want to make sure that they are actively walking the room, checking in with the students as they work on their own. Absolutely, and don't forget, you will always be able to reference the big four, grade level standards, on-the-spot intervention, higher level thinking, and encouraging more student independence in order to remember what is our purpose in the classroom. Yes, as guest teachers, it is vital to remember that you are here to support our students first, but also make sure that the correct classroom setting is maintained even and especially in their teacher's absence. In fact, the correct classroom setting is an essential strategy for success. <gasps> I see what you did there, nice job. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed today's topic, The Big Four. Hey, join us next time when we take this show on the road. Oh, yes, it's time to get out of here and into the classroom. What better place is there to try out some of these strategies? I know I'm looking forward to it. As always, to our guest teachers, thank you for all that you do. And remember, the time is now to educate, engage, and empower success. We'll see you next time on the next Strategies, Strategies for, for Success. success. Bye. Bye.